He's not the only one saying it. McKinsey's CEO has similar views. Accenture has similar views. Now you might come back and say, hey, how about Walmart? They have similar views. How about Exxon? Similar views. How about Bank of America? Similar views. How about CEO in Bank of Pakistan? First sentence applies. <laughs> it's fun when you give up 9 to 5, you can take them down. Alibaba just exceeded Walmart in sales. There you go. By the way, Alibaba is just nobody. You just stood up one day and started a business. Oops. Just went. Xiaomi phone, which is challenging Apple now. It's an amazing case of digital again. This is the biggest problem you'll have. Inculcating digital culture is going to be the biggest challenge. It's not about being sophisticated, process-oriented, um, yeah, a little bit of technology will do, have business acumen, you know, nice and smart dressing, blah, 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 not anymore. Criteria one, what did Google do recently? We don't need graduates to hire. We'll hire anyone who, has a, who passes their test. No formal education required. Catch them young, convert them digital, they live there for life. Yeah, they're not. The tech companies in India are now adopting the same policy. We don't want to hire graduates. There I am in IIT saying, are you not so what? What happens to us? You, see, you do your PhD, come back and teach them later. They're not hiring them. Two tech companies in India already made up their mind. Next year onwards, they're going to change their policy. Of course they'll hire. Entry level, they will not hire. Interesting. What's a growth hacker? Does anybody in the current state of business have an executive heading a unit called business growth department or division? What is he hacker for? He goes from his shop to every shop in the company and says, where is your growth? Is technology growing? Is revenue growing? Are you making new products digital? Do they make money? That's what a growth hacker does. But it is not restricted to the man who heads that department. It is everyone is a growth hacker. IBM, I recently found out, calls them wild ducks. If they find wild ducks, they have a separate team. They get a fund from the company, and they can develop what they want. If it flies, it flies. If it doesn't fly, it's part of R&D. Intel has done the same thing, wild ducks. There's a food company in the US, I forget its name, they've done the same thing. You know why they did this? Because they found out that somebody made a 3D printer, if you know what a 3D printer is, that makes cupcakes of the design you want to send them on the internet. It's a $455 device, like a blender. So I told my wife, I don't like cupcakes. Try somebody else, paratha, sharata, yaar. You never know, 3D printing, you'll get fried egg with paratha on coming out. Now Raheem's looking at me, why is he killing my business? No, I'm getting a new chef. Simple. So culture is going to be the biggest issue, and this is the biggest challenge in the West. It will remain our challenge as well. A lot of people confuse this. Do I have to change my strategy? The answer is no. If you're an existing business, you don't have to change your strategy. Stick to your digital stra corporate strategy, bring digital in at the sideline. Digital strategy will rely on the social strategy. You heard what Jill said. 75% of the world's population will be digital. You need to serve them. So you have to have a social strategy to support a digital strategy, which will be a part of your corporate strategy. If you're a tech business, then your corporate strategy anyways will be digital. The IBMs, the Apples, the Facebooks of the world, their entire strategy is digital because they're tech companies. But if you're a non-tech company, a part of your strategy will be digital. 
So you get it in the sideline and then you move it into the core. How do you do it? You take each department at a time, each product line at a time, each line of business at a time, and then you move digital gradually into the core. So what happens is your business strategy stays the same, which means what you want to innovate, how you want to grow your revenue, where you want, which market you want to address, but the way you go to the market will be digital. The way you do your manufacturing will probably move from floor level to robotics, that's digital. The way you communicate with your customers or you, or you compete with your competition is going to be digital. So that's what you do, you actually move, and this is going to be an iterative process, it's going to continue non-stop. You know why? Because technology is going to keep changing. That's why I said in the next five years, if somebody has adopted, let's say, smartphones, Samsung, Apple, Mac, blah, 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 and you say, hey, I have got my technology base right, three years down the road, you never know, it may be something else. Have you guys seen this phone that sticks to your hand? Have you seen this phone? It's waterproof. It's on the test market right now. It's a Samsung phone. LG is coming in with the same phone. Sony is actually manufacturing it. It actually wraps around your wrist. Here, here, on here. It's a five-inch screen. I have a question here. Robotics, digital is at every major. Where do you enjoy it? Beaches. They'll have more time to go on beaches. It took 35 years to get self-employed. They'll probably start self-employed. <laughs> there will be plenty of opportunity in the market for niche. There'll be plenty of opportunity. You know the biggest scale of this system is Africa will race past South Asia. Africa is one of the most sophisticated and the fastest growing mobile payment system anywhere in the world called M-Pesa. Almost all of uh, Eastern Africa has done it. It's now filtered down to the mid-tier. It's now fading down to south. <coughs> so it's only the top North Saharan desert countries which are not in MPS, otherwise they're all there. <coughs> in a bus traveling in uh, Rwanda, you don't carry cash. You take your phone, and he has another phone, you pay your ticket from there. In India, if you see this Paytm ad, the guy says cash is in cash, and he says, oh, Paytm is a I'm, I'm consulting with a company in mobile payment. They have the product. We're just getting down to launching that system now. Chor le jayega to kya karoge? Ye puchna chaare ho. Yeah, they have a point. I think the issue with regulation now is, and it's happening in Pakistan, we've been chasing the cybercrime bill, the digital rights bill since 2000. <coughs> in fact, Dr. Rishat was part of that, or made me part of the task force that went into the ministry then. The problem is, the regulator can't keep pace with change. Number two, Absolutely. it comes from where you don't know. You don't know which country is coming from. It's on the network. You tried to block YouTube, remember? I was sitting in a telco, which has the biggest pipe to Pakistan, PDCL. I used to watch how many people are watching videos. 70% of the population still watch YouTube. This way, that way, whichever way. Regulators are there just, uh, they have a completely different role. Completely different role. Netflix is in Pakistan. What is Pemra doing? Doesn't even know how it hit them. Indians regulator is smart. Anadu. Let's see, chalta gaya se, uske baad we'll take the regulation out. Ham nahi aane mat do, baad regulation line. It's not going to work, wa jayega. So, strategy is not such a thing that you have to worry about. It has to be part of the corporate strategy, but gradually get it into the core, because you will live digital as you go forward. What is about the team? You need an organization to support that digital effort. You will not live in silos. I remember when I was very young, about five years into my career, we used to make the same chart and we used to put IT like this. Because IT was something that everybody used. 
from HR to uh, manufacturing to uh, sales, everybody wanted to use IT. Until as recent as 1998-99, we still used to have the same chart. IT is a cross-department initiative. You need to have everybody getting into IT. Yo, blah, 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 blah. But IT moves so slow compared to what the speed this is moving at. If you don't do this and reorganize yourself like this, you might have a little problem somewhere. permanent position. The chief digital officer now is challenging all these guys. This man's budget has been eaten up by this man and partly by this man because how to get to the customer is their call. Whether they give away phones or gadgets to their customers to keep in touch with the company is their call, not this man's call. His job is to make sure that the data, when it comes, it is stored properly and processed properly. And it is stored in the way they want to see it, not how Mr. IT wanted to see it. There are three ways you can do digital. I'll try and give you examples. If you want an incremental innovation, अंडे पहले तो बॉल उसकी प्लास्टिक की थैली में ले जाते थे अब वो कार्डबोर्ड के डब्बों में आते हैं दैट्स एन इंक्रीमेंट इन इनोवेशन रिक्शा पहले पेट्रोल पे चलती थी अब सीएनजी पे चलती है दैट्स एन इंक्रीमेंट इन इनोवेशन इट डजंट पंप अप रेवेन्यू इट क्रिएट्स अ नीच मार्केट प्रॉब्लम इट डजंट कॉज अ रेवोल्यूशन इट्स नॉट डिस्ट्रप्टिव व्हाट्स एन इनोवेशन इट्स एन इनोवेशन ऑफ इट्स ओन सॉर्ट चेंज प्रोजेक्ट्स व्हिच मींस यू वांट टू गो फ्रॉम a state A to a state B, from a feature phone to a smartphone. What did Nokia CEO say when they collapsed? We tried everything we could. We did everything that we had to do, and we did nothing wrong. We did everything we had to do, and we did nothing wrong. And somebody came out of a garage from here, and took the big giant down on his knees. Literally shanty flat. Nobody imagined Nokia would fall like nine pins. That's how disruptive it is. You don't know where the guy is coming from. You think US mail is a roaring success? No, it is not. Not anymore. But do you think Swedish mail is a rolling success? Or Norwegian mail is a rolling success? Yes, they are. They adapted digital much earlier than they were hit. So they've survived. They became courier companies when they were still public sector post offices. They became digital courier services even before the courier service became digital. That's what it is. Why? Because Scandinavian countries have a very high rate of internet penetration, 80% plus. I met a few young people here in Pakistan and they gave me their business cards and I said, what on earth is this? So I came back and I googled every single job description. Have you heard of a title called social scientist? Have you heard of a title called social engineer? Social entrepreneur? How many of your accountants? Social accountant. And I said, what do you account do accounting of? Then I see how many messages come in, how many messages go off, then I see which category to park them in. You know my GL accounts? He had a site though. He actually showed me. He actually showed me people interested in products were on the credit side of his account. People who said dislike were on the debit side of the car. I said, how the hell do you balance the account? He said, there is no balancing in this business. The accounting principle will change. I said, where do you learn this? He said, I do webinars from uh, US, sometimes from the Europe or the UK, wherever Canada. I don't even touch that subject. I can only focus on the little bit. 
So you become more and more specialized as you go forward because there'll be such a plethora of, the bandwidth will be so big of what you can do. That's why I said em employment will stay, but probably on your own, <coughs> not by anything else. Isolation you're, here or doing alone? Because there's so much of the Oh, workers. that's a social cultural issue that Culture, is, yeah. You, you see, in an organization, if it's not focus on it, it's not a lot of So where's the camaraderie? I think, Yasmin, yes, this is uh, a phenomenon that we haven't been able to hit in Pakistan. I mean, I've worked for a company that had such high degree of specialization. The guy knew out of 1,600 products that IBM had at that point in time, he knew only one product. He was only specialized in one. That's it. He knew nothing about any other product. He knew nothing about the other product. They were already into specialization. We haven't hit that road yet. We in Pakistan haven't, I mean, a couple of companies I know have hit that road because they came from abroad, they had a company there, they brought the entire system into Pakistan, just drafted it in and put third people to settle down in their own businesses. But the drive in a Pakistani to learn about the other guy is so strong that that guy is not a specialist anymore. So what they did was, they said, hey, that's nice, rotate them. In the process, they became backup for each other. So that threat of saying, I'm specialized, you fire me, you lose money, I go, give me an increment, it doesn't work anymore. That was an after effect, by the way, an afterthought of the management team. But we haven't reached that stage of specialization. We missed that board. One question. What about the educational disparity in the world? So it's, uh, you know, uh, what would be the mean education for people across the globe to adopt the change? Good question. Uh, Despite all the change, despite all the digital revolution, despite all the electronic revolution, we still have the Manjadar of Buffalo card in Pakistan and elsewhere. So uh, it has to follow. You know, they, it, it's very innovative, but yet because of the educational disparity, people don't absorb it, uh, per se. And, uh, how will the process move on? Okay. It's, it's, a, it's a good question and very good question for any third world country to ask. I'll give you an example. SMS in Pakistan, I think, is about 14, maybe 15 years old. When SMS was launched, people came about and said, we are 78% illiteracy, Five years later, I happened to meet somebody in India or from India, whose name is, uh, who's called, they call him the father of computers in India. F.C. Kohli is his name, he works for Tata Group. He has always been with Tata Group. He's been a CEO or the mastermind behind establishing Tata Consulting. Fortunately, he was born in Peshawar. His wife was born in Pindi. So when they came to Pakistan, I drove him to Peshawar, without a visa, by the way, with requisite permission from the people who, were, who matter. And then I asked him, he said, I'll give you something called adult literacy that Tata is trying to build in India. And that is what happened with SMS. The adult literacy program said, instead of remembering the letters and building the word with it, build your vocabulary by images. For example, if the word is image, I-M-A-G-E, don't worry about I-M-A-G-E. Remember, this is called image. This is the image of the word image. If you want to remember the name Furqan, then just remember this is how Furqan looks like. If you want to remember Pakistan, remember this is what Pakistan looks like. And that is precisely what our illiterate people did when they took up the SMS, they started reading images. If they saw a colon in the middle, they said this is time. And then later on came the Urdu script, which they were anyways used to picking up from the billboard. Adults learn, illiterate adults learn from images. Illiterate children are now learning from images. That was SMS stage. What this revolution is about, the data that is coming in today, we'll talk about that when I come to big data and the technology part. 80% plus data today on the world's mobiles is what? Videos. I didn't say that you can see a video. It is predicted 94% of the data by 2020 will be video. If it is video, Jail will have a problem. He's getting audio plus video. He will not be able to do it. He will say, I will see it in the video. 
वीडियो से मैं सीख लूँगा सो दैट ब्रेक थ्रू इज अ बेनिफिट बाई द वे एम पैसा दैन इट वॉज प्रोमोटेड इन ऑन फीचर फोन नॉट इवन ऑन स्मार्ट फोन एम पैसा द गाय हूज टू गो अराउंड से बाय एन एम पैसा कार टू मेक हिस्स बिजनेस गो हिज से ए लो आई एम वीडियो टू शो यू आर वर्क डोंट यू गो विन ए टी एम इट सेज द वीडियो वर्क दोल्ड ए टी एम नेवर हैड दिस वैन आई वेंट बैक टू द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ देन हबीब बैंक एंड आई सेट वाई डोंट यू पुट वीडियो ऑन